In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a group so that you, when you share a document, you can type in the group's name and that document will go to everyone in that group. A lot of people had questions about this during PD, like how to share with just your class or how to share with a grade level. And um, this is how you do it. What you're going to do is you're going to go, one way to do it is that you can go to mail. We'll click on mail. And next to the word mail, there's a drop down menu and we're going to click on contacts. So what happens here is everyone's, all the contacts appear here. These are all the teacher's contact. This is all the teacher's contact information. Um, on the side here, I have some groups that I've created already. And if I hover, it, the, the list got longer and new group came up. So I can click on new group and enter a group name. Okay, I'm doing ed tech teachers. So now there's a new group. The group has been created. And if I look over on the left-hand side, it's there. So I click on it, and there's, there's nobody in this group yet. I need to add them. So I add to EdTech Teachers. Now, I've noticed that some of the names, it predicts the name, and sometimes it does not. So if it doesn't, you just type in the email address, and it'll pick it up for you. See, it's not picking it up, but I put add, and it knows that that was Amy Kennedy. Okay, so I have a small group here. Now what I need to do is I'll show you how this works back in the document. I'm going to go look at a document in my drive and I'm going to share something. I'll share a practice document with them. So I'll open up a practice doc. Over here is the share button. Right now it's changed to private and I'm the owner. But here where it says add people, I can enter names, email addresses, or groups. Now in my case I could easily enter both of their email addresses. But since I created a group, I can enter EdTech Teachers and it comes up. And I can share and save it. And that gets sent to them. So it, this would be coming really handy if you have a whole list of students that you want to share a document with. If you, um, maybe with your PLC, you can make a group. Um, but it's an easy way to do this. I'll show you another way to do this. Is right in the document, you can click on Share. And when you click in here, it says enter names, you can say choose from contacts. And what you can do is, you can put down here where it says two, you can create a group right here. So I can create a group right here. I'll put myself in here. And I'll throw it at Alisa. And after I type my name in, I can do save as a group. Click on save as a group. And then I can rename this group. And I'll name it EdTech teachers too, just because I already have an EdTech teachers one. This is just to show you another place where you can save a contact list. So what you could do is you could put your whole contact list in here and save it as a group right in the document and that'll be saved in your contacts as well. So there's two ways to save contact groups. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thanks. Bye-bye.